Hello and welcome to Core Finance. In association with NEX Exchange, it gives me great pleasure to introduce onto the show Alex Borelli, who is the chairman of Black Sea Property PLC. Alex, good day to you and thank you for joining us here good today. Good morning, delighted to be here. Well, let's start off. Um, can you just explain to our viewers what uh, Black Sea Property is, your listed company, um, what you do, where you operate, and how you make your money? Excellent. Black Sea Property is a real estate company. We're now listed on NEX, which has been very good to the company. We were previously traded on AIM, mm -hmm. uh, moved to NEX, which has created a lot of opportunity for us. The focus of the company at, at this stage is to focus primarily on real estate assets in Bulgaria. We've uh, spent some time with our key shareholders there looking at major projects mm -hmm. and we successfully concluded the acquisition of a trophy building in the middle of Sofia in the business district there from Unicredit. Mm -hmm. uh, we've secured the debt finance, we've raised equity finance with support from our existing shareholders and some new investors and completed the acquisition of that for about 11 million euros only recently. Super. And, and what is the plan for that trophy asset? Are you looking to uh, receive revenue on that or, or looking hopefully for an up, uptick in the commercial property market? And well, I, I think one, one of the key things for um, a, a real estate player that is listed in the UK is to focus on, as I say, trophy assets. Mm -hmm. The key assets are, uh, become much more attractive, I believe, to the institutional investor in due course. So this is a major building designed by a well-known local architect in Bulgaria called Nikola Lazarov. Mm -hmm. um, had his own practice, he was educated partly in Paris and died in 1942, uh, but a very prominent architect in, in Bulgaria. So we see that this is a, an attractive building. It's at the moment occupied by Unicredit and we see it uh, being tidied up in mm -hmm. some form with uh, further letting as, as an office building. And with regards to a revenue stream, will, will you start to receive revenue straight away or are you looking at kind of 12 months, 18 months further Yes, down the I line? mean, there is uh, letting at the moment that mm -hmm. uh, continues with the tenants in place. We would see that we have a refurbishment program and continue the lettings. Super. And with regards to these trophy assets and, and projects that you have operating in Bulgaria, uh, with regards to your assets under management, what percentage of, of that portfolio would you allocate to, to such a trophy asset? Black Sea Property works very closely with its uh, property investment advisor called Phoenix, which mm -hmm. is also a shareholder in the company, uh, and their responsibility is to find projects for us. So. To the extent that we mix the portfolio, it depends on the projects that we um, see are going to generate good returns for the company um, over a period of time. We are looking at a number of projects with uh, Phoenix at the moment um, and would hope to update shareholders in due course. Fantastic. And when a project or one of these trophy assets comes, comes to light and looks like an interesting uh, prospect, what's the process? Are you, are you using uh, your current kind of cash that you, you have in the company or would you be looking at other debt financing and debt raising to, well, to cover I, those projects? I, I, it's very difficult for a listed company to have a war chest of cash. Mm. So we would look to finance each project as they arise and as the board decides to proceed. Uh, we'd also look to have a mixture of debt and equity. Mm -hmm. uh, our admission document does publish the stats that we would like to have as an ideal formula, but up to 70% debt. Uh, debt is relatively cheap to secure at the moment, and if we can uh, achieve that, raise money from existing shareholders and new shareholders, we think we've got a winning formula for investing in real estate in Bulgaria. We'd also look outside Bulgaria, but the primary focus of the company is Bulgaria. Understood. And a question some investors may ask is, why Bul Bulgaria? Um, now, it's been in the European Union for, for the best part of 10 years. Um, and you mentioned off, off air yeah. the drawdown or, or the move away from, from property investment in, in property in that area um, going back 10 years after the financial crisis. So why, why Bulgaria and why Bulgaria now? Well, uh, the dynamics of the uh, GDP growth of Bulgaria are becoming increasingly attractive. There was a recent uh, uh, publication out this week uh, describing Bulgaria as a real estate market that is uh, showing growth. Mm -hmm. uh, we expect it to, uh, the GDP growth to continue and that uh, we can get increasing rentals in Bulgaria. Um, admittedly, it's not the largest country in Central Eastern Europe. Um, I previously have been chairman of a large real estate company 
focusing in Romania, mm -hmm. uh, Bulgaria, Hungary and, and Poland. Uh, we had only limited assets in Bulgaria, but I see that as a nice niche opportunity, particularly in Sofia uh, as well as on the Black Sea coast. Super. So you've got a lot of experience certainly in that area and in property. That, that, that'll be great for, for shareholders to hear. Yes, and I'd like to introduce some of the previous shareholders we had um, at, a, at a former company into Black Sea in due course. I think the key with uh, real estate is that there are big numbers mm -hmm. uh, and you have to be large enough to be attractive to certain institutions. Uh, but we are very pleased with the support we've got primarily from Bulgarian shareholders in Black Sea. Super. And uh, talking about the shareholder base, is, is it a mix of, of, of retail and institutions? Or? There are some uh, smaller retail investors there, but it's, uh, the primary focus is uh, three or four major institutions that are Bulgarian-based. Super. And um, just looking forward, let, let's say 12 to 18 months, um, obviously you've mentioned the right projects coming up and Phoenix highlighting the right projects. What can shareholders expect over, over the coming months, maybe in the coming years? Well, I'd be uh, pleased to tell you the plans, but I can't be very specific <laughs> as we're a listed company. Understood. Uh, but we would look to increase uh, the rental stream for the company, generate uh, increasing earnings for shareholders. We'd mm -hmm. look to focus on other projects that have uh, a medium-term prospect of enhancing both capital value and uh, increasing earnings. And we see building the portfolio with uh, increasingly attractive assets uh, as a focus on trophy assets. That is something that people can identify Black Sea property with. Super. And, and sorry, just finally, the management team, can you just talk us through the experience of your management team and uh, are you looking to, to strengthen that team or are you, are you happy with, with who you've got in place with regards to personnel? Well, we, we have, uh, first of all, a very good board, a very supportive board that works and gels closely together. Um, I work with uh, Elena, who is our executive director. She's based um, in Bulgaria with a lot of experience. Jordan, who works as a lawyer at uh, Boyanoff & Co, leading solicitors in Sofia, and with uh, Boris, who's a Bulgarian based in London. So together we communicate probably two or three times a week and we work closely with Phoenix as the property investment advisor and we have a whole team and access to a number of people out there that uh, where we need resource we can tap into it. But we also maintain a fairly lean uh, program with the company to protect the uh, cost base and we work, I should add, we work closely with Peter House who, and Hina Karani there mm -hmm. who uh, has been a very good advisor and supported the company strongly as we've developed. That's great. Well, I'm sure investors and uh, potential investors will be glad to hear that. In the meantime, Alex Borelli, Chairman of Black Sea Property, thank you very much for joining us here on Core Finance in cooperation with NEX Exchange. Jolly, thank you for seeing me today.